Joanne Duchnowski is an amateur boxer who started boxing just last year. Now she's not only fighting to get in shape, She's fighting for charity. I've walked into punches my whole life, and truly, I, I just feel like it's time to actually start learning a sport and the skill of it and giving a little back. Inspire others to stay fit and get healthy. Um, and it's, it's just been a whirlwind of uh, wonderful opportunities knocking at my door to help others. And that's why I'm really getting involved with boxing for charity, especially the Long Island fight for charity. It, it helps so many people on Long Island. Um, to help themselves. Um, I believe in hope, and without hope, you can't have anything with hope. You can dream, you can live, you can work. Uh, you can basically have anything as long as you have hope, and that's one of the things that I am inspired by, and I'd like to also be able to inspire others for that. Fight for Charity is in its 11th year. The event benefits three charities on Long Island. The Genesis School, the Long Island Community Chest, and the National Foundation for Human Potential. Uh, all of our money goes to people who live and work on Long Island. Uh, and our boxes, they all raise, they all, they all, they all make a commitment to raise a minimum of $5,000. The first year we raised $36,000, and the second year we raised almost 100,000. And in the 11 years we've been doing it, we have given away in uh, excess of $900,000 to the charities on Long Island. Each year, the event has different boxers. This year's fight will feature 16 boxers from Long Island, some of which have never stepped in the ring. All new people, all new sponsors. Every year there's somebody new. Uh, and every year I say, enough, we got, it's enough. We've done it enough years. But every year, right after the, the event, 20 or more people come up to us and say, I want a box. And, lo and every year, 20 more applications come in, 20 people who are serious about doing this, and 20 people who are going to commit to raising five grand. How can I say no? While this won't be Dutchnowski's first fight, she says boxing has helped change her life and now wants it to change other people's lives. I have fought in two other fights, um, but I truly believe in helping others. It's been something that I've always wanted to do. I've, I've definitely have been um, a philanthropist at uh, donating and helping others, not only on Long Island, but throughout the tri-state area. I also help children's charities, but uh, working with Jamie and the Long Island Fight for Charity, it's just a wonderful experience to know that it, it's, it's not about research and it's not about waiting for a cure, it's instant results. We can actually help people today, tomorrow, and towards the future. Not only do the boxers enjoy helping charities and those in need, but it also changes their lives. Each of our boxers, it's a great health improvement for them. They eat healthier because they're training. Because of their training, they lose weight. I mean, our average boxer loses between 12 and 15 pounds. Uh, they're out running, they're out training. I mean, it's wonderful for all of them as well. Dutchnowski plans to raise more than the minimum of $5,000 but says the training may be easier. The hardest part is raising the funds, is having people believe in you, believe in what you're fighting for. Um, and I'm very passionate about things that I do in life. If you don't love this sport, you cannot be in it. You, there's no other reason to be in this sport other than the love of it. Um, and it's a great way to help charity. While her primary goal is to help those in need, Dutchnowski still wants to go into the ring with her best chance to win. My goal is to win the fight, and my goal is to raise as much money as I can. I, I feel like the, the dual competition, I think it's gonna be harder to raise the money than it is to win the fight, you know, but you never know who you get in the ring with. You're only as good as your last fight. So I'm training really hard. I really hope to win, and I really hope to win for the people that we're fighting for. With the success of Fight for Charity, Jimmy Austin says he's received calls about expanding. But at the moment, he has no plans to do so. Our focus is Long Island, uh, Nassau and Suffolk County, and that's where we're going to stay. Uh, we have maxed out the uh, Hilton Ballroom every year for the last eight years, uh, and we're going to max it out again this year. Uh, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to make the we're going to make this the biggest, most successful event each year that it can be. Uh, and, and our goal is to do things for people on Long Island. It's a good cause. It's a great way to stay in shape. And I would love to see more people and more fights. I would love to see them do uh, twice a year, three times a year. It's just it's enjoyable. For push pause in Glencove, 
Um, Jordan Camzan.